we're going to be making the not so famous anymore glass candy crunchy stuff. <laughs> Sounds fun? All right, let's see what you need. The things you're gonna need. You're gonna need some skewers. I, I didn't have any that were sharp, so I'm using chopsticks. You're gonna need, uh, well, we don't need this. This was the recipe if you want it here, there. Uh, there's the recipe, put it away. All right, you're gonna need a candy thermometer. I think that's what this is called. Yeah. You're gonna need a cup of sugar, half a cup of water, a pot, and, of course, your fruit. Uh, and they have to be completely dry. So, yeah, that's what you're gonna need. So, the next step you're gonna need is you're gonna need a knife, so be careful. <laughs> and you're gonna need to cut the green part off of your strawberry. So, just be careful, hold it far away, and then just cut it off. You might need an adult to help you, because it's dangerous if you don't do it. So if you're, if you're like a little kid, you might need a parent for this, yeah, the whole thing, because you are going to need to use the stove too. So yeah, just cut all the tops of the strawberries. Pause We're going to get our strawberries and our blueberries. And we're going to put them on the chopstick slash skewer, whatever you have. Okay, so I'm just gonna do like one with all strawberries, one with all blueberries, and then just like both on each. I might do two with blueberries because I don't have that many strawberries. So I'm gonna start with blueberries because I'm scared that <laughs> I'm gonna make them all gross by skewering them on here. Uh, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna try to put a small one on there, or like a squishy one, because I'm scared those are just gonna burst. That one looks gross. <laughs> I'll just eat this one. So I'm just gonna skewer these on here with, with a time lapse and I finished skewering all of them. This one, I this one was supposed to be the all strawberry one, but I had to put a blueberry on it because this strawberry was had an extra big hole in it, so it was sliding around. This one is like a share with your huge family. <laughs> I was I was running out. I ran out of skewers and I had a bunch of blueberries. This one's just like a mix between both, and this one's a blueberry one. I still have some extra blueberries though, so I'm gonna eat them, and you guys can. Skewer your things while well, I eat them. Just pause the video. Now we're at the stove. We have the candy thermometer in. We're gonna pour in our sugar. And what the? Be careful, it's hot. Uh, I put it on medium high. Oh, I'm getting the chopstick because of sugar in the candy thermometer. So put it the pot's temperature on medium high. And we have the candy thermometer. I have mom here because I don't know how to use a candy thermometer. I know how to use stuff, just not candy thermometer. Um, I used to stir. So we um, stirred it a little bit and then realized that the thermometer wasn't actually in the liquid, so we had to change to a smaller pot. And now I'm just gonna like let it sit and then stir it and then see until it gets to hard crack or 150 celsius okay so up there on the candy stuff we've been stirring it's at about 210 something like that we had to turn the heat down to medium because it was boiling too much so like once it starts getting really, really foamy, just turn it down to medium. And we are waiting for it to get to 300 Fahrenheit, which would be hard crack, whatever. And it would be, I think, like 150 Celsius if yours has that. So if you're getting bored of waiting for this to boil, um, play with your pet. See, look, they're super happy that you're doing this. They really care. <laughs> 
Well, I think Brownie's interested in um, something under the counter, but you know, it's way past time. My cat just lays anywhere. So, um, let's go check on it. So, uh, now it's about 300. So, um, let's see what we do next. Oh, it says to tilt the pot and like twist them in there, but this pot's not big enough, so I'm just gonna get a spoon, which is uh, scared. And I'm just gonna like scoop it and actually no. Let's try to twirl it in here. Okay, I don't know what the top is. Okay. We're just gonna twirl the stuff in there. And then we got a plate. Uh, the strawberry on the bottom is just to hold the or the blueberry is just to hold the strawberry. So that's good. We got a plate and we put some oil. It and we're just putting the skewers on it. So let's get another one. This one's big. So I uh, get the top first. I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna get a spoon. So just cover your things in sugar. I'm kind of messed up. Um, that's it. that's okay. We're probably gonna remake it a little bit. The first two things turned out great, but we didn't take it up the stove, so it kept cooking, and then it burned. <laughs> so I think I, I, I was able to salvage two of them, which is perfect, because it was the strawberry and blueberry one, so we can do a taste test. But you should probably let them dry for like 15 to 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, it kind of it burnt. It kind of burnt. Yeah. So I just had one of the burnt, the one we used the burnt candy on. It tasted like burnt. <laughs> it tasted like burnt. So yeah, I threw it away, but we have two good ones. And uh, we're going to do a taste test. Mm. Okay, so this is what the blueberry one looks like. Um, It's like still hot and the juice is kind of coming out. But I'm going to try it. I'm gonna get on my shirt. But crunched. It's really good. So now let's try the strawberry one. So <laughs> the blueberry one was amazing. I ate it all already. But now we have the strawberry one, and I'm kind of scared this one is gonna be burnt. Um, but also this one never fully dried, so that was me trying to get extra off, but mm. oh, that slid off. <laughs> it's a little burnt. Uh, it's not a lot burnt. If it wasn't burnt, it'd be really good. Not bad. I like the blueberry better, but yeah, it's really good. <laughs> so, Kind of good, kind of fail. This is the last strawberry from the skewer. It's still a bit burnt. <laughs> We're gonna try to remake it. Uh, yeah, I hope that turns out better. It should. But you can try it. Just take it off the stove once it gets to 300, or else it's gonna burn. <laughs> um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.